Hi everyone, this is Ellie. The Book of Tales Witches Adventure event runs from January 11th to January 24th, um, and please remember to check at what times in your time zone, and then I'll have the link to the official announcement either in the description or in the comment section. And so let's get started. If we look at the event first, um, here you'll see that there are four sections. This endless journey refers to the um, like the challenge event um, that will start later. And then the distant legends is the event story. As you can see here, there's like slightly a bit more to progress through until you unlock the screen. Um, and then there is something to note is that if you want to read the stories, you need to farm these materials that correspond to each um, male lead. And you need a certain amount and obviously then a certain amount of stamina spent to unlock these. So make sure you keep that in mind as you're progressing. And then if we look at literary treasure, this middle one, this is the event shop. Per usual, we have a couple, right? We have three here that you can change on the top, each using a different type of drop that you can farm later. Um, please also remember to, you know, pull for the illustras and um, buy the free event SR illustra from the shop before you start farming so that you get the extra bonus drops. Um, also try to prioritize the materials that you need first. Um, you know either usually it's like the skill skill materials and then essential materials and then experience ones um or skill materials and then these like main story ones and then ascension and then experience again this depends on what you need and then if we look at magnificent dream which is the um, left bottom one this is like a mini game it's kind of like the halloween one where we have like the affinity thing and then um you like get these supply these these um whatever you call it, these bubbles. Here you can farm different difficulties. Um, it's recommended to farm difficulty three and then like the corresponding bubbles for each of the male leads um, rather than the random one. And you have three, I believe, um, three attempts per day. So make sure you do that so then you can customize your Pictura here. Um, if you go to here, Affinity and then Custom Pictura, um, you'll unlock those as you go. And then Dreamland Adventure is the where you farm the different currencies again um there are three different ones this quill pen um this magic tome and then this paul doll so make sure you farm the corresponding ones to buy out the shop um it's most efficient if you only farm the single drop stages like the rabbit cookie um all on difficulty three preferably like the rabbit cookie and then the stop the penguin and then seal class instead of these mixed ones remember that there are three difficulties for each and you have event bonuses um and they're different for each of the stages so make sure to check up here on which ones you can also if you just click on this or press on this um it'll pull up so if i change this to a different one and then it should the bonus ones should pop up like towards the top of the list right here and these are different for each of these stages so make sure to check which ones and uh, that's it for the event, I think, um, except for the challenge part, but that will unlock later. Now, if we talk about the gotcha, per usual, we have the rate up choice function over here. I already used it, but if you wish for an SR, that one will be guaranteed in the first 10 pull. If you wish for an SSR, it guarantees that the first event SSR you get is the one you choose. And there is a 30% chance you will not get the event SSR. Um, and I believe um, hard pity is at 160 because you can choose, yeah, 160 because you can choose one here. Um, obviously, the specific rates are listed in the details here. And then now onto the SSRs. All comments are made from a meta or combat perspective. So if we first look at, I'll go alphabetical order. If we first look at Ein's Rabbit Tea Party, um, it's a decent to solid and fairly straightforward single target DPS whose entire kit is designed around doing damage, which is also a limitation just because it doesn't have a lot of other utility. Um, and so a couple things to note here, I guess, um, the text versions are already in our Discord, so I'm not going to repeat too many details here, but skill priority-wise, if you're reliant on this Illustra to do damage, two before one. If you're only using it for the team crit rate or team damage or crit damage buffs, then one only and two as needed later. Enlightenment priority is mid, um, AoE greater than single target priority in this game, so, you know, you can consider feeding enlightenments, but not recommended if you're short on resources and you may stack additional copies. Um, Generally, you also want to put this Illustra in slot 1 for the team crit rate buff from the ult. If we look at Kale's SSR, mediocre AoE, I guess, with useful utility. It functions more like a support rather than a DPS. Um, a bit of my personal critique, I feel like it's kind of an awkward Illustra in the sense that it does a bit of everything, but doesn't do anything particularly well. And then some things to know, I guess, for skill priority, 1 greater than 2, but max both. Enlightenment priority, low to mid, just because the ult doesn't have any 
it doesn't have any ult effects and there's mediocre damage even at high ult level so can consider but not recommended you can stack additional copies no positional preference and then if we look at clearances um mediocre support that provides team survivability and has a niche ult effect a bit of my personal critique about the ult I think offense is the best defense, and then so instead of reducing enemy healing received, I feel it's just more effective to just do more damage and kill enemies faster instead of the you know reduced healing. Skill priority, none. Um, enlightenment, enlightenment priority, low, not recommended to feed enlightenments, but you can stack additional copies. No positional preference, but you can consider putting this Illustra in slots four through six for the emergency healing and survivability. And then in terms of the Pictura, but because it's not an increased initial ult charge Pictura set, it's not really worth pulling for the meta or combat standpoint. Um, one more thing, um, the Fairy Tale Fantasy Plan. You can buy either the Advanced Plan, just the regular basic version, for- I'm not sure exactly what the price is, um, but you can get one outfit from here. And then if you buy the Advanced Plan Premium, you'll get two outfits plus an exclusive avatar frame. And, um, this is the exclusive avatar frame. You know, outfits, I guess I can quickly run through. This one. This one. Okay. Okay.那算了，就这样吧。如果你喜欢的话，我很喜欢这套衣服，也很喜欢我穿成这样吗？ Yeah, that should be it. Please like and subscribe if you found the video helpful. Um, I'll also be most likely continuing to make these guide videos for future events.